Crazy. You just catch anything and everything here pretty much. That's what I like to hear. Alright. Well, let's try this SD card because the other one's acting up, but this is basically what I'm throwing guys, just a simple white fluke uh, with a darter head. Another fisherman over here, Cody's telling us to keep it on the bottom as much as you can. Because most of the stuff I'm seeing up top is shad. I mean there might be some smaller browns or whatever. I mean I'm assuming the browns and everything are underneath the shad feeding up on them. It does not like like that, there's a shad right there. But it does not surprise me at all that this is where all the game fish are because there's just so much food. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Because there's too much bait. Fish on! Oh, buddy, you might be able to lift that one. What is that? No, I can get, I can get him, dude. Here. Shit. Dude, yes. You got a net we can use? There we go. Shad, but it's huge. It's a shad. It's a shad. Oh my god. I just net it. It's all good. It looks like a brown. That's a giant shad. Biggest brown of the day, guys. <laughs> that so is a this huge is a shad. Uh, Milwaukee Harper shad. I know uh, it's probably not what you want to do. It's not a rough fish, but appreciate it. <laughs> All good. My bad. But here, guys, check this out. We're down at the power plant. There's literally hundreds of these things swimming around, and that's like two pounds. That's like a two-pound shad. Yeah. Like bass eat these, but yeah. a lot smaller. <laughs> that's crazy, dude. So we're throwing this back. Yeah. That was still fun, though. That was that's cool. Yeah. I thought you had a brown, dude. It looked like a nice silvery brown. Yeah. All right guys, a little quick tip for you. If you're out here fishing for trout or really any species of fish, these shad in here, they're dark, but they're not so not white that this doesn't imitate them perfectly. Like this is a really good imitation for the shad out here. So what I'm gonna do is a lot of time when you're fishing a school of fish like this that are schooling up and they're eating these shad, because I've seen shad bust, which means they're getting, they're getting chased like that. One just did it right up there. So what I'm gonna do is put away this white fluke and I'm gonna pull out one that looks completely different than any of the shad out here. And what that does is it'll grab that fish's attention. Cause you know, they're used to seeing all the white, white colored shad run around. So I'm gonna pull out one of these right here, like green and white. So it completely changes the way the fish looks at the bait. They think, oh, that one looks different. It's probably weak or something like that. And their predatory instincts are really engaged by something that just looks that little bit different. But again, real, real simple rig. Just on a darter head, just thread that on. Push that up to the head. Try not to hook yourself. And you got a killer, killer little trout rig. Little quick tip, uh, I haven't caught one yet. I snagged a shad, Louis snagged a giant shad. So that's why I'm switching up the colors because there's gotta be just a ton of fish here underneath the shad that we just can't see. So see what happens. Guys, I just started throwing this get bit tube in this little channel here and just had a little brown come up and swipe it. Completely missed, but you know, still cool. This current is just moving so fast, it's hard to get a bait to the bottom. So I'm, yeah, and then there's just shad everywhere, so it's hard to fish. I threw on this tube jig because it's a little bit heavier to get down to the bottom, but maybe the bait's a little big too. I don't know, maybe, uh, whatever. Yeah, wow, look at this, guys. Look at these, look at these rollers. I'll be that way. That's what they're doing. They're sitting way on the bottom, guys. He swiped that. 
He actually opened his mouth on this, guys. This is a get bit bass too. Come on back. Come on back. God damn it, dude. This power plant's pretty incredible though, guys. It's like, look at that thing. That's nuts. Did you see this thing? Yeah, I gotta go grab the net. Oh my god, that thing's huge. This is crazy. I was just jigging this blade bait. I just put a blade bait on. And it ate it, didn't it? Yeah, this dude said he caught a carp, and this carp literally smashed this blade bait. He ate it, like, straight up. Never saw the fish. Oh, I got my workout in for the day. I just got a big old carp hooked. Are we good? Okay. Look at that ship. That's here. Is it? You know how to switch it over? Bro, how did it eat that? He ate it. That's nuts. Yeah, I just broke off on a carp over there. Thing. So maybe that carp did eat my jig. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> that here. There you go. Nice job. Look at that. Hooks out. Okay, I'll, I'll grab more. Wow, that really wasn't his mouth. That's yeah, crazy. Oh my god. Woo. All this energy all of a sudden. Risky, but big old carp, guys. Brought to you by Hooks and Tag and Get Bit Baits. <laughs> That's cool though. Put up a good fight. Look at the mouth on that. It's nuts. Oh, thank you. Blade bait. That's what that thing yeah. smashed. But look dude. at the lips on that. Look at that. Bro, ah! All right, he's going back. Watch the epic release. Common carp. There he goes. Woo! Oh, God, you got shit all over these. Thank you again, guys. Hands are officially starting to get cold. We're probably going to head out in about 20 minutes, but I wanted to see if I could find where that brown trout was that I lost before. But let's see if I can find that guy again. my bait or he came up and swiped it again that was a nice one dude what the shit is going on why are they not eating it like why do they come up and just fucking nose it like seriously it's really kind of ticking me off now like that's the third fish i've had do that third fish really friggin' finicky today oh oh god damn it son of a I cannot believe that. God, it's so fucking frustrating. So what they're doing, it's like I said before, they're just underneath all the shad. Like that's exactly what they're doing. They're sitting underneath everything and picking off the ones that go too far down. Or ones that are too small or whatever. Shit. Nice big cromer too. Hi guys, so before we end today's video, I just wanted to say a couple things about one of our amazing sponsors, uh, Hooked and Tagged. Uh, they make some unbelievable clothing. Uh, we know the CEO, Tom, we fished with him, and he's a great, great guy. And over to hookedandtagged.com, they got these awesome patch hats back in stock. Um, both the largemouth bass, brown trout, uh, what other ones are there? Walleye. Walleye, I think it was musky. Musky one, so hit up, check Big shout hats. out to Tom. These hats right there too are also in stock. Um, and then these sweaters. Um, I'm literally wearing this and a t-shirt. What degrees is it? Uh, it's it's gonna be 40, 45 degrees and I'm wearing a sweater and a t-shirt and I'm perfectly comfortable. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next episode of Wisconsin Fishing. Yeah, so good. I was just thinking the same. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we roll, baby. Don't fish without the Doritos. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Listen, Dad, if you are going to talk about... We are heading through that smoke here. right there. And at least we the power plant. Oh, that's different. Yeah. <laughs> We're heading some other smoke out there. <laughs>